hi guys welcome to my youtube channel uh, today we are going to discuss uh, third notation of sets and that is set builder notation so in the previous uh, videos we have discussed uh, first two notations of set uh, first was uh, descriptive form of set and second was uh, tabular form of sets so today we are going to discuss set builder form set builder notation so this is very interesting notation and mostly students uh, get confused uh, in this notation so let's start uh, and understand that what is uh, set builder notation so first of all we have a set uh, that have uh, seven elements we have a negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 so we have to convert uh, this set into uh, set builder form so we have given down this is a set builder form so this is a set builder notation so first of all uh, let's discuss basic uh, structure of uh, set builder form so first of all we have set builder form uh, main form that is called standard form so we have uh, curly brackets and then uh, x we have variable and then symbol and after that we have a uh, condition and after that we will close that so first thing is that we have uh, curly brackets uh, as usual in previous uh, notations so this uh, curly bracket denotes set this is very simple and here uh, we will use a variable like x y z so x is the variable representing elements of set so this x only one variable is uh, representing uh, all the elements of a set and after that we have a symbol uh, line vertical line that is uh, called such that so after variable you will write this symbol and then we have last thing very important thing that is uh, p of x is the uh, predicate or condition that x must satisfy to be included in the set so this is a main part of uh, set builder form of set so this part will be remain same variable and then we have such that this will remain same but after that we have condition so condition will be different in every question so let's uh, see uh, some example uh, first of all we discuss this uh, example here we have a negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 so first of all to write it into a set builder notation you have to write curly bracket and then you have to write a variable so this variable is representing a complete set and after that we have to write vertical line that is called such that then you have to check that uh, which set have these types of elements so as you know that we have these uh, sets of numbers so these are integers so we denote uh, integers by uh, z so you have to write x such that x belongs to z so this is a first part and after that we have a symbol uh, this is called and symbol and now we have to write the condition in some time we have condition but uh, in some cases we don't need to write condition here you can see that we have a limit smallest number is minus 3 and largest number is 3 so you have to write in this form it means that x is less than or equal to 3 it means that we cannot write numbers greater than 3 we have to write numbers smaller than or equal to 3 and greater than or equal to negative 3 it means that we have to remain between these two numbers and we have to include these two numbers if we have a line here less than or equal so we have to include these numbers if we have no line here so you have to uh, leave this element and you have to write elements between these two numbers so this is called a range this part is called range and that is a description of set and here we have a variable so how to read it we have to read it x such that x belongs to uh, z mean set of integers and x is uh, less than or equal to uh, 3 and greater than or equal to negative 3 so this is complete form of uh, this set in the set builder form so let's discuss uh, some examples uh, so that you can understand easily uh, so first of all we have example set a that is set of natural numbers less than 10 here we have some limits but in the second set b we have no limit the set of even numbers so let's try to write these sets into a set builder notation so we have set a first the set of natural number uh, less than 10 so first of all you have to write similarly a uh, name of set and then after that you have to uh, start curly bracket then you have to write variable so we have simply variable x you can write other variable uh, as you wish so first uh, first of all variable and then we have to write symbol such that and then you have to write again variable and then you have to identify that uh, what type of set we have so here we have set of natural number okay set of natural number is denoted by capital n so now you have to write uh, a symbol of belongs to and uh, name of set so we have natural number so we will write here uh, capital n then you have to write symbol of and or you can use a comma here 
now you can see that we have numbers natural numbers less than 10 it means that uh, we cannot write number greater than 10 but we can write number less than 10 so simply you have to write variable that is x so now you have to write this symbol that is less than or equal to and we have number 10 it means that we have to write natural number less than or equal to 10 if you write uh, this symbol only uh, strictly less than so then you have to write here 11 it means that 11 is not included and we have to write number less than 11 mean 10 is included from 1 to 10 so these are two methods to write this set so next we have set b we try to write this set set b is equal to set of even number so method is very same uh, this uh, structure is very easy and uh, same in every uh, set in set builder form so you have to write x such that x belongs to so from here you have to uh, change the uh, situation uh, according to given set so we have even number as you know that even numbers are denoted by capital e so you have to write here capital e after that we have to write here uh, some condition but here you can see that we have complete set of even number we have no condition here no limit here so if we have no limit then you have to cancel this and then you have to only close this by curly bracket it means that we have a complete set of even number simply you have to write x such that x belongs to e here is no range so there was some limits in first set set a uh, less than 10 uh, but here uh, we have uh, in set b no limits so you have to write complete set so these are two different cases if you have limits then you have to write uh, range after the name of set and if you have no limit then you have to write uh, x such that x belongs to e means set of even number i hope so you got the basic idea that what is a set builder notation and how to write sets in set builder notation i hope so it was helpful thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel